I am of the universe, and you know what it's worth. Worth plenty, worth plenty, worth plenty, worth plenty. I would like to introduce. Context. The idea that one's immediate surroundings and absorbed information constantly and consistently creates the knowledge, thoughts, mental capacity, and human capital of a human. From birth till the day we die, context is a significant factor in the growth of a human being. Understanding context is understanding the surroundings of an element surrounded by other elements. Elements being smaller, pivotal role-playing affected people, things, or ideas, all existing and functioning together within a context. Context to elements can be regarded as space is to time. Both are nothing without the other. You see, in one sense, context can affect and dictate all the elements within its parameters. Context can control an element by the element simply beginning there and eventually growing within the context around other elements who have adopted and continued the pattern of older elements, commonly known today as traditions. This is the language of patterns and patterns play a pivotal role in the understanding of context and elements and how they work together cohesively, not separate, but as an extension of the other. However, an element or elements at key points can override the existing language of patterns within a context. And this can happen frequently as a particular context grows and overlaps with another context territory. And the two contexts separate from each other begin to mix, eventually creating subcontexts within an even larger context. You see, in today's world, there is no such thing as a context that is off limits, which is why the language, information, patterns, and elements of a context is almost always affected by a subcontext or a new context. The information in a world of digital sharing of all information, known today commonly as the information age, has drastically changed the way elements operate within a context and within their respect for the language of patterns. In truth today, the world is truly man's oyster. The idea of context is limitless if a living, functioning, and breathing human element chooses to tap into the power of expanding its information and defying the patterns given to him or her to create a new, more fitting pattern, which eventually changes and creates a new context. Context in the Information Age to boost human capital, one must boost their surroundings, elevating throughout life and controlling the patterns and thought process your mind absorbs and reacts to, widening the perspective and spectrum of knowledge and information you, the human element, understands and subscribes to. The fact of the matter is the human mind never stops working. As long as the human is alive, the mind will absorb information and delegate that information to be used at a later time. This can be seen as the context bank, the storage place for all the information the mind has absorbed and will eventually use. So to expand human capital and add more perspective, a person who is a human element existing within a context must expand his or her context in every area of life. And this idea of context expansion has changed severely throughout the course of time. Information is an invisible element also existing within context. It's different from a human element or a noun element, but it plays the most significant role in a context in the language of patterns within a context. Information is thoughts, ideas, knowledge, recognizable forms and ways of life. It is the language of patterns itself, consistently changing throughout time and miraculously dictating every element within a context. Information wasn't always a sweeping lightning rod overtaking the earth and being shared amongst different contextual settings as it is today. Today we have the luxury of learning about other cultures and patterns of lifestyle without having to conquer and change them. You see, most cultures and contexts 
in the days of old were changed at the hands of other human elements, forged by war and colonization. Patterns and traditions of men were constantly being changed by their victors and the context and traditions, which were their life patterns and way of living, were changed, absorbed or lost altogether. So information in past time was shared and also created as a result of the conquest and expansion seeking mindset of human elements within their own rightful context. Present day, information is shared generously through digital technology. A human element can expand his or her human capital in unlimited fashion, almost completely erasing the idea that an element is dictated and shaped by the context in which it is created in after they are able to think for themselves.